Welcome back to Eldora. We get ready for race number five. Again, setting the field. Four locked-in drivers from owner points will advance, as well as one transfer spot. So five positions will be locked in from this heat race. And then we will have a last chance qualifier race to find out who the remaining five trucks will be that will race tonight. Kenny Schrader is going to start on the Foley Pixie outside, and uh, he is in that transfer spot. At the moment, Tyler Young will have to pass maybe one of the best dirt track racers in America. A pretty daunting task, I would think, to say, oh, all I have to do is go up there and pass Kenny Schrader. I would like to have that conversation between Tyler Young and Norm Benning. <laughs> well, I had to pass a guy that won last year, man. I couldn't quite pull it off. That's how tough it is to be able to race in this Mud Summer Classic. Kenny Schrader. Bringing out with the fifth fastest time in single truck qualifying. That's why he was pulled for this the fifth and final qualifying heat. Man, I like the way Schrader's truck's been handling. He's able to go lower in practice than anyone else. It looks like the low side is, is really fast right now. So we'll see if Schrader can win this baby. Brian Silas will be on his inside. The final qualifying heat race is underway. Tyler Young right away dives to the bottom of the racetrack trying to get an advantage on that 52. He's got to beat the 52 to race his way in, and it's three wide per second. Yeah, they told Tyler Young that there's some grip down on the bottom. Don't waste any time. Get down there and try to make something happen. And he's doing just that, Bill. Look at the run he's got. Coming out of turn four across the stripe, he was second. Trying to chase down now the 98 of Johnny Sauter, and Kenny Schrader has noticed that there's some drift down low. It looks as though he may dive down to find some of them. Kenny down to the middle this time. Kenny Schrader. Sorry, Johnny Sauter following his tire tracks. Tyler Young is going to slide in in the third spot in front of the 99 of Brian Silas. Again, the 52 of Kenny Schrader and the 0 2 of Tyler Young both have to transfer into the feature through this heat race. Only one of them will get there. The highest finishing one right now is Kenny Schrader out in front of this heat. Johnny Sauter running second. Tyler Young is third. Brian Silas. DJ Bell. Gordon Forrester. Six. We know Johnny Sauter. History is all asphalt racing, short track in the Midwest. He's come to the truck series. One race is obviously very talented, but right now, he didn't even know what to call the truck. He said, I think they call it Swing or something. I don't know. And he's trying to pass Kenny Schrader, a guy that's won hundreds of races on dirt. And he's all over Schrader right now. Looks like he might be even a little faster. So that just tells you what kind of talent there is in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. These guys can drive. I like where Johnny's going now. Try to make something happen on the bottom. We saw Ryan Blaine make the very bottom work. Kenny right now, when Corbin Forster is around, let's see if that's going to bring out a caution. Not as of now. In turn number four, they haven't thrown the caution yet. He hasn't got it going, and it looks as though the oak is going to come out. out we will have a restart. That was another opportunity. Now what's Schrader do? He's just getting ready to get past on it with all the way inside on the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah, Kenny was in the middle. That's where Ryan Blaney made his ground up on the bottom of the racetrack. I was glad to see Johnny Sauter move down to the bottom to try to make something happen. I wonder if Ken Schrader may decide to take the bottom on this restart. It's his choice. Yeah, I think that's a, that could be the the decision he's uh, the, definitely the decision he's faced with. That could be the decision that wins him the race if he's able to take that bottom line away from Johnny Sauter. You think about a guy that's used to running on asphalt. Running around the bottom, keeping that truck as straight as possible is what Johnny's used to. If there's grip down there, he knows how to drive on the dirt, even though he doesn't have a whole lot of experience doing so. Caution laps don't count against the 10 laps in this qualifying heat race. So once they get the order, they'll put them two by two once again. And we'll find out. So, Kenny Schrader's going to choose the high line. So he's going to have the advantage on the fact that he's the one that's going to restart the race. But Tyler Young may have an advantage because he's on the inside of that second row. And if he gets a good jump, he goes down to where he's been comfortable running on that, that lower part of the track. Uh, I hear what you're saying, Rick. Schrader's got to be worried right now. He's got a couple of trucks in that what looks like preferred groove right now that he's, he's going to have to clear. Or he's going to be in jeopardy of being in that last chance race. Go, the fastest truck on the track, set the track record, and now Kenny Schrader has to fight his way to get into tonight's feature. It all depends on the takeoff here for Kenny Schrader. Green flag back in the air. Side by side.
going into turn number one. Sauter looks pretty good on the bottom. Johnny Sauter strong off of turn two, guides it into turn number three with the advantage. See Tyler Young now right down on the bottom. He needs to follow Johnny Sauter, follow his lead. He with a crit fist down there. Going into turn one, Johnny Sauter just a slight advantage. Now Schrader all the way up almost to the wall, trying to get the momentum going once again. Schrader has him clear. Here comes Tyler Young, diving to the bottom of the racetrack once again. This time by, it'll be three laps to go. They're almost side by side for that transfer spot. Johnny Sauter out in front. Ken Schrader running second. Tyler Young is third. I'd like to see Young go even lower, Phil. He hit the bottom that time, Michael. Just get all the way down to the inside where you see Sauter up there ahead of him running. There he goes, all the way to the bottom. Can he make the run on Schrader? He's going to have a good shot at it. Two laps to go. Johnny Sauter out front. Kenny Schrader running second. Way high goes Tyler Young in the 0 2 going through 1 and 2. Loses a lot of ground of Kenny Schrader. The Kenny Schrader's experience is what's going to get him in this feature tonight through this heat race. Coming out of turn number four. White flag in the air. One more time around. Did Johnny Sauter get a win at Eldora? A year ago here, no one would have dreamed of picking the bottom for the restart, preferred restart lane. Tonight so far, looks like that bottom's going to work. Johnny Sauter strong on the restart, had the preferred line, and is going to make it work tonight. Coming out of turn number four, Johnny Sauter winning qualifying heat number five. Advancing into the feature will be Kenny Schrader. That means that Tyler Young will have to work his way through the last chance qualifying race, which will be coming up next. He had a pretty good truck there. I like his chances in that last chance qualifier. Johnny Sauter gets the win. Another preferred position. We get ready for the Mud Summer Classic right here at Eldora Speedway.